Hello and welcome. This is Alistair Christie and today we're going to do more data awareness using the Visual Component Library. Customer System version 2. We want to add some new features to our customer system. Three features are going to be added. Firstly, the ability to import a CSV file. Uh, secondly, to be able to sort by a field name. And finally, to be able to type in part of a name and have it to search on that fragment. Unlike the last video, we are going to actually have to write some code to achieve these things. So let's take a look. Let's open our uh, customers project. And we'll start by doing our CSV import. So let's add a button. And we'll call this import CSV. Going to change its name and we'll add an open dialog. And we'll go ahead and add our filter. We'll call this We have our CSV files and all files, and we'll add some code. Now, the first thing you want to do, if the open dialog is executed, um, and we'll need a couple of string lists. And if we execute that, we want to create them. And we want to free them. Okay, and in here we want to import the um, CSV file. Now the first thing we'll need to do is load the file. And let's have a quick look at what it looks like. And here we have our, our list of names. And it's um, first name, surname. So what we want to do is load it from the file we selected so we'll do a for in loop um, a string in okay and that should be a string not an object So we're going to assign the comma text property our string, and then we want to insert our record into our client data set. Now in our client data set it's surname first name. So we want the second element of CSV line. And then the first element. And that's pretty much our 
input routine, I think. Let's try running that and see if it works. Import list index out of bounds. Okay, it's imported the file, but what I think's happened is if I close that, um, the very last line is empty. So it's it's fallen over there, but it's okay because we've got our um, our finally clause there. Um, okay, so that's that's our customers imported. Now that we've got a lot of data uh, in our customer database, um, it would be helpful if we can um, do a bit of searching. Uh, the first thing we'll do is when we click on the um, column titles here, that it sorts by that column. So we'll go into the events, and down here we have on title click, and there's a nice simple way of doing this. Um, on our client data set, the uh, in the index field names, that's right. On the field name. Now I should just do a try and a try accept. Okay, let's see if that works. So that was nice and simple. Now we want something a bit more uh, serious in terms of search. So let's add, start by adding a panel. And we want to align that to the top. Let's get rid of the caption. And on there, we'll put a label and a T edit. On for the label, we'll call it search for We better give this a meaningful name. Let's get rid of the default text. And cool. let's get our spelling right. Okay, actually, one thing I will do first is by default. Um, if I can find the index field names property, there we go. Sort on surname by default. And on change. Okay. So. Not filtered. The blank. If filtered. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to search both fields. Um, so I'll just start by and a little bit, a little bit of um, um, sort of SQL esc type filter. Um, we will need to say, in fact. Person name like so percent percent s and another percent or Right, and we should probably say, ah, no. What we'll do is in here in the uh, char case property, uh, if I can find it, there it is. Set that to lowercase. Now, let's run that and see if. This is going to work. Okay, and it does indeed search based on what we type. So it's got anything with an any, and so on. Okay, well that's pretty much all we wanted to achieve today. Um, thank you for watching. One last thing I've noticed in reviewing the video is that if we go back to our source code, uh, I've got lower surname like, blah blah blah, and lower surname like. And this should have been first name. Okay, now it works. When we click our load CSV button, we want to execute the open file dialog. And if we do that, we want to run the rest of the code. In the highlighted code, we create our strings and free them again. We put our code for freeing up resources in a finally block so that if an error occurs in the try section, we won't hemorrhage resources. Into our first string list, we load the contents of the CSV file we selected. And for every line in our file, we want to do the following. Assigning each line to the comma text property, we'll split our string based on uh, each comma. And then we insert surname and first name into our client dataset. This is probably the nastiest piece of code in our application. It creates our filter on the client dataset. The format function replaces each uh, double percent with a single percent, and the percent s's with what we typed into our search box. Percent s stands for replace string. Translating this into English, we get does the first name or surname contain Smith? This brings us to the end of another training video. I hope you found it useful, and I'll try to bring you another one soon.